Hi everyone, this is David. We are going to continue on the topic of programming fundamentals. Today, we will mainly focus on variables, statements, and expressions. Um, basically, they are like the building blocks of programs. Um, first, let's take a look at variables. Some of you may be familiar with variables in math, which is a similar concept to the variables in programming. They use a name like x or y to represent values. In programming specifically, variables are used to store values and data. The action of storing the value is called assignment, uh, which used a single equal sign. If you remember from the last um, from the previous video that we mentioned, single equal sign is not being used um, for comparison, it's only used for assignment. Um, for example, you can do something like x equals 5, meaning that you are putting the storing the value 5 into x. Or you can do y, y equals true, um, meaning that you are storing the Boolean value of true into y. Um, also, there are a few things that you, you need to know about variables that's almost common to all programming languages. Uh, first, a variable can be assigned many times. Um, you can do x equals 5, and then so 5 is being stored in x. And then after that, you can also do x equals 4. So the, the value of 4 is replacing the value, uh, uh, value of 5 and being stored inside x. Um, because Python is not a strongly typed language, um, you can also store other type inside x. For example, after you store, after you do x equals four, you can also do x equals true. So you are replacing the Boolean value of true. Um, you 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 are replacing the the integer value of four with the Boolean value of true. Um, so in that case, you can assign um, you can assign different values of different types in each variables um, for your own use. Also, there's a naming rule that's almost common to all programming languages. Um, so you can name your variables with anything that starts with a character and contains no spe special characters. So you can, you can do something like A, B, C, 1, 2, 3, but you can't do 1, 2, 3, A, B, C. Um, but people use common um, variable names very often, like X or Y or number or index um, but you can also create your own. You just need to remember the variable name naming rule. Um, so we have actually seen expression previously. Um, we have done like five divided by three, which is an expression that evaluates to a certain um, floating point number. Um, basically, an expression is a value or evaluates to a value. Um, for example. Hello world is a value, it's a string value. Uh, 5 plus 3 is a, is a plus action evaluates to a value of 8. And true and false evaluates to a value of false, which is a Boolean value. Um, and then there's also statements. Uh, statement is a line of code that performs an action. Um, expressions can often be statements because you can consider them as statements performing um, the actions of evaluating and then do nothing. For example, if we go back, 5 plus 3, you can consider it as... Um, a 5 plus 3 can be a statement, um, which you can consider it as evaluates um, to the value of 8 and then do nothing. Um, however, not all statements are expressions because there are statements that only performs action but doesn't evaluate to a value. Um, like x equals 5 or print hello world, they both do something. The print hello world um, will print the, the, line of, um, the line of text on your screen and x equals 5 do the assignment of assigning f, uh, 5 to x, but none of those, neither of those, those actually evaluates to a value. Um, 
so let's again try out things that we learned about variables, expressions, and statements uh, within the Python program. Uh, let's first check out things with um, variables. We can do assignment. Um, we are assigning the value of 5 inside of x, and then we, we can write print x to try out if whether uh, x this value is being stored or not. Um, and then we got 5. Then we can also um, update the value within x. We can try that too. Um, so this time we are replacing the value of 5 with the value of 4. So um, inside inside here the value of x should be 4 and here the value of x should still be 5 we can see we can take a look at that so it's 5 and 4 the first print prints 5 the second print prints 4 um, we can also assign a different value to to x like we talk about we can assign a value of true to x um, and then we can print it uh, we can also assign value of a string to x and then print it. You can see it prints 5, 4, true, and hello world. Um, so the variable doesn't care what type of uh, value is being stored. It only holds the value by, um, it only holds the value and update it every time when you update it, when you want it to be updated. Um, so since we can update the value and the values are gone, we will delete everything and then just give a value, um, just give it an integer value to x. Um, we can try out do operations um, on on variables too. We can do things like two times x, and we can do things like um, x divided by two, um, and then we will print x. So here we print twenty. 5 and 10. Uh, the first time we do 2 times x, which gives us 20, because it does 2 times 10. The second time we do 10 divided by 2, it gives us a 5. And then we print x. You will see that no matter what actions we, uh, no matter what options we do on, on, um, on variables, we don't actually update the variable, uh, the value inside of the variable. It only gets updated when we do the assignment. So um, even though after we do multiply and then we do divide, the value of x is still 10. Um, we can also do, or we can also do um, operations with variables. Like we can give y a 3, and then we can print um, x divided by y, integer division, um, and x times y. And then we can print x print y. We'll see that the first time it gives 3 because we do integer division of 10 divided by 3. And the second time we, we got 20, uh, we got 30 because we, we did um, 10 multiplied by 3. And then we print x, print y. You will see that the value of um, x and y doesn't change even though we do operations on x and y. Um, so um, we can try out um, so we can try out some naming um, conventions as well. We can do a b three uh, like we said. We can do a b c one two three and give a value of true. But we we can also try give a one two three a b c a value of false. However, uh, it was tell us that one two three a b c sh shouldn't be an, a variable name. Also, we can prob we can do a b c uh, parentheses. That's not allowed either because um, uh, in the case of parentheses, it thinks of it as a function call. But if we do this, uh, it's an invalid syntax because it didn't think a b c with the parentheses um, is a variable. It's an invalid variable name. Um, so. After that, we can try out different expressions. Um, expressions are often being used inside of statements. Like we like when we do 
print x. x is an expression. It it is a value of ten. It or it evaluates to a value of ten. But the print x is a statement. We use the expression x inside of the statement print x. Um, we can also do so, but we can but we sometimes we can also use uh, expressions as statements like we can do x times y um, but instead it doesn't perform any action it, it value is to the value of 30 because we do 10 times 3 um, but it doesn't store the 30 anywhere it doesn't put it inside a variable or it doesn't print it on a screen so after this line the value of 30 is being is lost only x is still 10 y is still 3 but we only evaluate it to 30 we didn't do anything with the value of 30 you can you can see um, it if we run it it doesn't do anything it only prints that um, it didn't have any effect on here or it doesn't even ha have any effect on x or it doesn't have any effect on y either it give us 10 and 3 um, but instead we can do z equals x times y um, in this case we are putting the expression inside of a statement and now we we have an effect we perform an action of assignment so we can print z um, and this time it give us 30 because we store the value of 30 inside a variable um, so um, or we can also do print x times y it would also it would do the similar thing of um, doing the expression first, evaluates it, evaluates it to a value, and then prints the value. The printing, the action of printing the value is a statement, but um, the expression x and y, uh, it, it is only an expression because it evaluates to a value. That's all for today. Um, Again, I'll post links to slides and to notes below the video, um, so you can use them use them as review. But more importantly, you need to try try out things with your own hands. Um, you have to actually do it and program it and run it to see the results. For example, you can follow along the video, or you can try different things on your own with the concepts of the within the video um, but the most important things that you have to try on your own that's the only way that you can learn programming well um, thank you very much hope you enjoy it